What do you do when you have created a fine 3D model and are going to showcase it to a customer, but want to have some details in succinct writing on hand? Stay tuned as we learn about the annotation dot component and create entry-level dynamic floor elevation markers. Annotation dot is always the same height and facing towards the viewer. This makes it really easily readable in 3D space. The new annotation components also have a view-oriented boolean value that will achieve the same results. I will get back to this in a later video. Annotation dot has six pass-through parameters, so it can be used to edit existing dots or create new. Parameters are the annotation dot, location as a point, primary and secondary texts, text height and font. Let's get to examples. Here I have a short script that I use to define a grid of points for the annotation dots. These two components are responsible for the top two annotation dots. Changing the text height will change how tall it is on the screen, not its height in the model space. I have used two aerial fonts. One on the top is a rounded bold and the second one is just plain aerial. Moving on with the script to the next three annotation dots. I have used different font styles, but for some reason the last one is not the bold one that I wish for. Instead I get a message saying that it's not on device. You can use the fonts in your device's fonts folder, but it seems that you cannot use the fonts that are inside a family subfolder. The Leto hairline is a different font family on the Leto. This is why I can use the hairline style, but not the bold style. We will create advanced annotations using any fonts in a later video. Regarding the styles, you should know this, that annotation dot is not considered an annotation in the annotation style components. Let's create some elevation markers. This is a really fast way to create points to show elevations on your model. You simply create a point in Rhino and set it to a point container, then get the Z coordinate. If you want you can round it, which is what I have done because it's much clearer. Concatenate it with a plus sign and use it as a primary text in the annotation dot. Now this model assumes that the ground floor is on sea level, but if you were to move the building the elevations will also automatically adapt. I added some secondary text to explain what the elevation marker means. Now when your model is ready for showcasing, you can bake the elevations. And if you forget what is the meaning of the annotation, you can click on the text dot and you will find the secondary text here. Now when we go to the drawing, we can see that there are some issues when using this component for elevations, but we will explore an expert solution in a later video.